everybody. It's Nicole with Stargazer Soaps. I'm just going to do some luxury soap here today. And I'm not going to talk, so I'm just going to speed it up and add some music to it for you. Okay, it's time to cut soap. A little, oh yeah, you can see. I don't know if you can see. But I'm already seeing air pockets. Yeah, lots and lots and lots of air pockets in this. Let me focus for you here. Maybe. Uh, which doesn't surprise me. Uh, the soap just got so thick. I know I didn't talk in the video yesterday, but I had somebody here watching for the first time, and that always makes me self-conscious. So it was just too much at once, but um, the soap just got incredibly thick on me, and I mean it was soap on a stick. Um, the white in the bucket was so set up by the time I got to it. There was no amount of banging or pushing, oh and it's rock hard, that I was going to do to be able to save this. But that's okay, it's going to give it character, right? Okay, let's see. First time using soap balls. That's one end. And another sample piece. And the pockets so far are not bad on the inside, just on the outside, but we'll see. There's a little bit on the inside there. So the fragrance that I used was a pink berry mimosa fragrance. It's a berry scent, but it's effervescent. It smells really good. And I thought about doing pink, but I actually let my friend choose the colors. And we wanted something that would comp What's that with my stick blender? Something that would complement the the pink balls that I was gonna throw in. I had these really dark pink balls that I was gonna use. Uh, I have one right here behind me. These. But I was a little worried that they would bleed color. I so I decided not to use them. 
I'm going to use them in a soap that I do at home. When I was making them, I went to add a little bit of color, and I didn't use a spoon. I just poured it right out of the container, and I dumped three quarters of a brand new container of mica into a little tiny batch of soap. But this smells wonderful. It smells really good. Most of the pockets are on this side. I'm going to plane those and I'll smooth that out and they'll be just fine. A little soap ball peeking out there. And this will be cured around July 25th and will be available on my website at stargazersoaps.com. Thanks for watching.